Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our playthrough of Arkham Horror 2nd Edition and the scenario Dust to Dust where we're trying to prevent the awakening of Quatchel Ateus, the treader in the dust. And here we are with Arkham, Dunwich and Kingsport. Let's just do a quick recap of where we're up to. We've got four gates open, which is bad news. We've got one at the Unnameable, one at the Witch House, one at Independence Square, and another that just opened at the Graveyard. We've got three monsters in Arkham. We've got a Star Spawn guarding the Unnameable gate. We've got a Crawling One guarding the Witch House gate. And we've got a Mummy guarding the Graveyard gate. We've still got two Immortals. One is at the Strange High House in the Mist in Kingsport. And the Wizard Waitley is the other one. And he's up at Wizard's Hill up here in Dunwich. The other Immortal, the Warlock, we killed this. And it's still currently off the board. So we've been fortunate it hasn't come back on yet. But it may well do. Every time we open a gate, we've got a roll. And uh, if we roll a one or a two, he will come back on the board. But up until now... We've got to run away with it. As regards Quatchel himself, his Doom Trap is up to four. He will awaken when it gets to 12. So we're going to try and avoid that. We have got three cards left in the dust deck, the first dust deck. And our first player this turn is actually going to be Tommy Muldoon because we paid two clues so that uh, Norman. Didn't have to take a dust card last turn. But unfortunately, Tommy's going to have to take a card because he's only got one clue. And it would have cost him two clues to not actually pull a dust card. So he's going to have to pull one. He's going to do that a minute in a minute in the upkeep phase. So that's roughly where we're up to. Where are our investigators? Well, we've got Zoe. She's at the woods. Tommy's in the first part of the abyss. Norman is at the Silver Twilight Lodge and up here at the Unvisited Isle is Agnes. So that's where everybody is. That's where all the gates are and the monsters are. Let's get to the upkeep phase and our first player who is Tommy Muldoon. And here we are at the upkeep phase, and here we are with Tommy. So first things first, dust card. So we've got three left out of the first deck of dust cards. I'm not going to do a three card shuffle. I'm not doing any of that third edition cobblers. We're just going to roll a die. So a one or a two would be this one, three or a four this one, and a five or a six will pick the last one. So we'll get a die, and let's see what we get. We get a four. So that is that second card there. So we'll pick this up and see what poor old Tommy gets. The next day I found myself jumping at every shadow and sudden motion. I can only imagine what those who saw me thought. Most likely they believed me to be an escapee from the asylum. Lose one sanity. Do not pass the first player token this turn. So he's lost yet another sanity. He's down to three. In fact, I'll do that. So he's down to three because he will probably lose more. He seems destined to be losing sanity and stamina a lot. So this gets discarded. And we've got two left. And funnily enough, these two, <laughs> one is discard the rest of the deck and the other one, is put the other cards back in so it's a 50 50 chance next go whether we get the nice one or the bad one so i'll put this back anyway and uh yep that's it for tommy he'll be pulling that again next turn in fact until such time as he gets a second clue token um he's pretty much stuck really and if we get that other warlock back on the board you'll have to find three clue tokens in order to uh, pass the first player token but having got that out of the way i can now get rid of these put them in their normal positions and what are we going to do with tommy well i think tommy is going to stay 
where he is as regards his abilities at the moment. I'm quite happy with that. He does have quite a high look, which normally will come in when we're doing other world encounters. He's going to move to the second part of the abyss. You don't use movement point in the abyss movement points in the abyss so his speed and sneak it's not really important he's not coming out this turn so no need to move him up to five so i think we will just leave him like that and see how he gets on in the other world later on in the turn that's it for tommy next up is zoe and here we are with zoe we're not going to move any of the sliders but I have been having a think here. Now, I was originally thinking of sending her into the unnameable. But I think she would be better actually closing the graveyard gate. And there's some reasons for that. I would like her to kill the mummy. Because she's got a cross here. And uh, she'll get plus three against the mummy. Uh, the mummy because uh, the opponent is obviously undead. And uh, with the Athame... And she'll probably switch that to an enchanted knife because the mummy is physically and magically resistant. But she will knock it down from resistant to having no resistance. So if we have the cross and the enchanted knife, I think she'll be able to kill that mummy pretty easily. So what we're going to do first is uh, she can't reach the graveyard. She's just short. So she's going to have to stop somewhere on the way. So she's going to stop at the science building on the way. And uh, from the science building to the graveyard is a movement of four. So she'll be fine. So just a slight delay. But I think she is just the person to take the mummy on. She's all kitted up for it. And uh, the star spawn at the unnameable is pretty tough. Even for Zoe. And uh, she needs a better... Uh, weapon really we're gonna have to see if we can't pick one up somehow but she's gonna go at the science building and then she is gonna head to the graveyard the turn after that that is it for zoe next up is agnes and here we are with agnes again we're not going to touch any of her sliders quite happy where they are at the moment now i was going to send her into a gate as well but we're going to risk it once again we need a weapon a good weapon or an elder sign and she's got six dollars now we haven't actually been doing much digging in this game and we could do with weapons so what we're going to do is we're going to head to the curiosity shop and uh, she'll still be able to get to the unnameable from the curiosity shop next turn but hopefully she'll have a better weapon and uh, she'll be in a better position to take on this horrible star spawn and uh, if it's a case of she's got um, an elder sign or something else well we'll have to think something else up I think the only way we're going to get past that star spawn without fighting it is obviously sneaking past and we need somebody with high sneak the one thing that's thrown us into a right curveball I've, I was thinking, I thought, I haven't got many options. You normally have some options. And I was thinking, oh, my options are really down. I've either got bad options or even worse options. And what it was, it was it was because we got Tommy sucked through that gate at the witch house. And it delayed him. And we've essentially only had three investigators in Arkham right at the start of the game. And normally, right at the start of the game, when you've got four investigators in Arkham, you can send at least one person off to do a bit of shopping. And you can get yourself some decent items to help you help you out in the game. But he got sucked into the abyss. He's also got our best movement. So we haven't been able to do much trading either. I mean, um, I think Blake mentioned that getting the fetch stick off Norman and giving it to somebody like Zoe would be an idea. But it's getting them in the same place in order to do it. Because the three that we've got left in Arkham... I've got not the best movement. So we're struggling. And um, yeah, I just want a weapon or a really, really good unique item. So we're going to send Agnes to the curiosity shop, see what she can dig up. It's a now or never. If we leave it any longer, we're just going to get more gates opening. And then we're going to be in a position where we're forced to do things. 
So now, while we still have a window of choice, I'm going to send her to the curiosity shop. So that's it for Agnes. Next up, it is Norman. And here we are with Norman. And thank God for Norman, because he's given us the flexibility to be able to do this this turn. And the reason for that, he has find gate. So we do need to get him in a gate because he can come out. Um, he, he, he'll actually save a turn by casting find gate while he's in another world and come back immediately. So he's giving us a bit of time. Now, he can get five movement points. He's only got three here, but if he exhausts the map, map of Arkham and uses the fellow travellers relationship card that he's got with Tommy, he can actually make it to Independent Square from the Silver Twilight Lodge, and that's what he's going to do. Talking of exhausting cards, we have Refreshed Pet Press Pass, so that is back and available, but we're not going to be picking up a clue this turn. What we're going to do, well, we might, but it'll be an encounter clue, not a movement clue. So he's going to go up to Independent Square. It's only a minus one gate. He should be able to get, get out of the gate quickly. And he's got five of these clues, so he'll be able to close and seal it. And he's our best bet for closing a gate. And he's giving us a sort of extra turn. And that's why we're going to the Curiosity Shop with Agnes. So he's got the required movement points. And I think that is pretty much it for him. So that's the plan for him. He gets in Independent Square. He should be able to get out next turn by casting Find Gate during the movement phase, which will get him back to Independent Square for the Arkham Encounter phase. And he will try and shut the gate. He's got good law. It's a minus one gate. He'll be rolling four dice to, to close that gate. Hopefully he will manage it. Also, we'll get a gate trophy, which does go towards his personal story. OK, that's it for Norman. That's it for the upkeep phase. Next up is the movement phase. And here we are at the movement phase. Tommy is our first player. He's going to move to the second part of the abyss. Hopefully he'll come out next turn. Now, when he does come out, I was thinking of shutting the gate there at the witch house. But thinking about it, it's probably best to keep it open. I was having a think and the witch house, the woods and the unvisited isle are the highest frequency gates. And... If I close it, I'm just asking for another gate to open on it. I'd rather take a monster surge. If we can close the independent square gate then and seal it, then this will be okay. But um, yeah, I just don't want to close the witch house gate. I can't seal it and just have another one open right on top of it. And then we get another doom token. So we're going to risk it for a biscuit. Once he gets out of the abyss, he might try and give the crawling one the slip or he might try and kill it. And then he's just going to head out and uh, he's going to do some trading for us. He's going to pick up stuff from, you know, Norman, that fetch stick. He's going to give that to Zoe and uh, he might kill a few of these monsters as well because we've got to keep an eye on it. Uh, the more gates that get opened the more chance we've got as a month of a monster surge. So we need to keep the monsters in check now. All right, so that's him. He's moved to the second part of the abyss. Next up is Zoe. And here we are with Zoe. She's in the woods, but we're going to send her to the science building. So she's going to go one, two, three, and she is going to pick up that clue. Woohoo! So now that gives us a spare clue. She's got six clues now. And uh, she's got four movements, so one, two, three, four. She has got enough to get into the graveyard next turn, so that'll be okay. All right, that's it for Zoe. After her, it's Agnes. And here's Agnes at the Unvisited Isle. Let's get her out of there. She's just going to go one to the Merchant District, two to North Side, and three to the Curiosity Shop. And that's her movement. And that 
is no it's not it because we've still got norman's movement let's go and see norman and here we are with norman he's at the silver twilight lodge so he's got three movement points with his speed so he's going to go one to french hill two to river town three to east town then he's going to use his map of arkham is here so he's going to exhaust that for an extra movement point which will take him to downtown and then we're going to exhaust fellow travelers which is his relationship card with tommy and that's going to allow him his final movement point to get into independent square all right that is it for the movement phase next up the arkham encounter phase And here we are at the Arkham Encounter phase. Tommy's in another world, so Zoe will be the player that we go to. And she's at the Science Building. Now, she doesn't have enough toughness or gate trophies to turn in for clues. So she's going to have to have a Miskatonic District Encounter. So here we are. Let's turn it the right way around and we'll just do a cut. Do it this way. And let's see what happens. Science building. As you enter a darkened laboratory, a monster appears and attacks you. Damn it. <laughs> You're just getting monsters like jumping out of every five minutes. It happened at the bloody woods as well. All right. Usual thing here. A monster appears means it appears, attacks. Whether we defeat it or not, it'll end up going back into the cup unless um, we take it as a trophy. So uh, let's get the bag we hope for something a bit more a bit easier than a colour out of space please so what have we got oh this looks a ghoul i think these are pretty easy we should be all right with a ghoul we'll have a quick look at him so he's minus three to sneak past but i think we're going to be taking him on ambush and uh yeah if we start if we start an attack against him, because he's got ambush, we sort of can't get away. And plus not for the sanity test, we only lose one. That's okay. It's minus one on the combat test. We can lose a stamina if we, if we don't make it. And uh, he's only one toughness. Surely we can do this guy in. Right. So let's have a look at Zoe's sheet. And she's going to use her enchanted knife. And I think, oh, she's got a cross as well, which is plus one to horror check. So Will's three. So that's four dice. She's got four dice. Brilliant. Success, please, Zoe. And she gets three successes. Ooh, we'll keep these dice. We like those. So she hasn't lost a sanity, which is good, because uh, she can very easily go bonkers. So it's minus one. As I said, I think we will use the enchanted knife. And we will also use the athame, because they're both a single hand. So we'll use both of those. So that's three plus one because it isn't magically or resistant or immune. So that's four. She's got a fight of two. So that's six. Six minus one is five dice. We'll take those four that we just used and another one. And we need one success. Come on, Zoe, you can do it. No successes. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not going to spend a clue. We're going to lose one stamina. So she's down to six stamina. And that's fine. She's got plenty of stamina. All we're going to do is roll again. But we're not going to roll them dice. Because they now go in the naughty corner. And we'll roll five others. So we go again. We don't have to do the horror check again. We've already done it once. 
Um, let's see if we get a success this time. Yes, we get two successes this time, which is great. So second time of asking, we managed to kill it. That is a trophy. She's going to take that. She's now got two monster tro trophies. She needs five to achieve her personal story. But every little helps. So she should have five dice. We should have got that first up. But uh, hey ho. She only lost a sanity, uh, a, a stamina, which is, uh, if you're going to lose something, a single stamina will do. Especially if you're her, because she's got tons of stamina. So we'll put these back. So there's a ghoul that was wandering around in the science building. Perhaps some undergraduates experiment or something. But she's managed to kill it anyway. So not too bad. Put the Miskatonic University deck back in the holder, and that is it for her. Oh, the bits falling off the dice tower. Hang on, I'll sort that out. There we are. And yes, that's it for her. Next up will be Agnes. And here we are with Agnes. She's at the QRST shop. Now, she's not going to take a location card because we're going to use the text beneath the location, which is shop. Instead of having an encounter here, you may draw three unique items and purchase one of them for its list price. And then we discard the other two. So we'll get the deck, which is here. We'll just give it a cut. And we'll see what those three items are. So the first item is the Book of Dizan, which is a tome. Movement. Exhausted. Spend two movement points to make a law minus one check. If you pass, draw one spell, lose one sanity and put one stamina token from the book bank on Book of Dizan. There are two stamina token on, on it, then we get rid of it. Not much good. We're not really up for spells. Mind you, spells might be good for her, so we might get it. Next one is Cult the Ghouls of the Old Tomes. Damn it. Exhaust and spend two movement points to make a law. Plus minus two check. If you pass, draw one spell and gain one clue token. But lose two sanity and discard Cult the Ghoul. If you fail, nothing happens. Again, not brilliant. We are in a bad way here. This needs to be good. Come on. Elder Side Pendant. Four dollars. Mythos Phase. Discard to prevent a monster surge. This will do. Instead, one monster, or two if there are five more players, so it's one monster, appears at the gate indicated on the Mythos card. Yeah, we'll take this. And the tones are okay, but uh, Elder Sign Pendant, I think it's about the best of uh, that bunch. So stopping a monster surge... That's at least four monsters in this game because we've got four investigators. And yeah, so that's a net gain of three monsters, isn't it? So that is what we'll do. That is it for Agnes. And next up, oh yes, it's our friend Norm. And here we are with Norman. Now he doesn't have a location encounter here because there's a gate. He gets sucked through this gate and he's going to Unknown Kadath. So he's in the first part of Unknown Kadath. That's okay because it's uh, he hasn't been like, um, the gate hasn't opened on him so he's not delayed. So he's just in the first part of Unknown Kadath and uh, we will see him shortly because he's going to be in the Otherworld Encounter phase. Speaking of which, it is now the Otherworld Encounter phase. And here we are at the other world encounter phase. I've managed to get both of them in. So Norman's here. Tommy's here in the abyss. Tommy's going first because he's first player. And what he's going to do is he's going to have a red or a blue encounter. So let's get this ridiculous deck out. 
deck from up here. There it is. And we'll just do a cut. And I can't pick them all up. Oh, yes, I can, just about. <laughs> so there we go. And we'll keep going till we get a red or a blue. And that's a green, so that's no good. That's a yellow, no good. A blue, but we haven't got an abyss. So we're going to have to do other. Monsters lurk everywhere. Pass a sneak minus two check or stay here next turn. Don't say we get delayed again. What's his sneak? What is his sneak? His sneak is, of course, zero. <laughs> he does have a clue and we're going to have to spend it. If we spend a clue, it buys a die. So that is going to buy us a single die to try and sneak. So it's a single a single roll we need a five or a six come on come on you can do it Tommy five or a six mate come on a five yes not a six that's what I normally get with a single roll but I've got a five and that's good enough so it cost us a clue but he has a man he has managed to avoid all those monsters and that means that uh he will come out next turn. He isn't delayed. So uh, nice one, Tommy. Rock on, Tommy. Right. Who's next? It's going to be Norman. And here we are with Norman. Unknown Kadath. Now, Unknown Kadath is red or yellow. So we'll just keep going till we get a red or a yellow. That is a green. A red. We've got another time or an abyss, so it's going to be another. Oh, it's a Miskatonic Dunwich card as well. The time you have spent in this alien landscape is altering your perceptions. New strange knowledge is burning itself into your mind. Lose one sanity, then if you are still sane, gain one spell. I think he can afford to lose a sanity. He can. He's down to five sanity now. And that means he gets a spell. So let's dig out another huge deck. And here's the spell deck. So we're going to cut this as well. And then he's going to draw the top spell, which is Alchemical Process. Casting modifier plus zero, sanity cost one. You may cast an exhaust to gain three dollars. All right. Might come in handy, might not. Well, we'll put that with the rest of his spells. Awesome. And put that back. We could have done with something like shriveling, though. That would have been uh, a lot more helpful. So that is his turn. And that is it for the other world encounter phase. Next up. Oh, yes. It's the laugh and chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and the chuckle phase. Okay, so let's pick up a card and see what happens. Can do with the monster surge, seeing as we got that pet that elder sign pendant. So let's see. Come on. And no, we get the unvisited isle. Oh, damn it, that's another <laughs> it's another gate. So another gate stand. That's gonna be five gates now. Oh, God, and it's also going to be a doom. So that's five doom out of 12. But it's going to be as unopened gates at this rate. Speaking of gates, let's pick one out. Yeah. And we get, oh, another normal gate. That's what we want. Nice and easy, please. A plus one, the dreamland. Yes, yes. That's what we like. So the Dreamlands goes up to the Unvisited Isle. What we want next is a nice easy monster. So come on. Another ghoul would be nice. Let's see what we get. And we get a Mygo. Which is nice and easy. That'll do. That'll do. 
So we've got a Mygo, which is a flying monster, but it'll do. It might even end up flying into the sky. If it does so, that's no great, uh, that's no great loss. It means the gate will be unguarded. So Agnes might be going back there. Or we might even be able to get Zoe into there. That is a good gate. Not often that you get a gate and you, you think, wow, brilliant. So that's really helped us out. Let's have a look at, we've got a clue at the science building. How good's that? <laughs> the clue immediately goes into Zoe's pocket. So that's great. She's now got seven clues. Excellent. And this is turning out to be a good Mythos card. Wait till we read the rest of it. Now we've got to do monster movement, circles. It is a circle, a my go. So if going to the sky, it checks the Merchant District streets. There's nobody in there. So it's going to land in the sky here. Circles, Wizard Waitley's moved. Oh dear. He's gone into backwards country. And now I'm wondering, because Norman is in unknown Kadath. <laughs> If he can actually do Law Monster in Unknown Kadath, I'll have to check that. If he can, then no, I can't, we can't. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. That is against the spirit of the game, really. To um, even if it did work, can't just have him in Unknown Kadath. So we'll just have to hope we don't get another circular monster movement until uh, until we can sort something out. So typical, you know, it waits until, uh, you know, we had um, we had our fail safe, which was Norm with um, Law Monster. And as soon as he goes in another world, the wizard Waitley decides to move. Right. So circle, we've got squares and diamonds. I don't think we've got any squares and diamonds. No, we haven't. But the crawling one's a circle. So he moves out into French Hill. Well, at least that clears the way a bit for Tommy. So he'll come out at the witch house and he'll be okay. I think he'll just stay there as he'll come out and don't. As I said, I don't think he's going to close that gate. We're not going to bother, and uh, perhaps he'll just walk out into French Hill, try and kill the uh, crawling one. And because we've got monster movement. Get rid of that it means we have rift token we could do with it not going in fact it's not going to go onto the bottom rift so we're okay and it is oh what's this I'll have to check i've looked through oh it's neil's curiosity shop so uh that is going to go on circles on why it's the second one. Second rift, the upper track. That's another reason to get Tommy um, out of that other world. He needs to get down to Kingsport as well in order to deal with um, these rifts, which are now getting slightly out of hand. I've got my warlock over. Right, that's that done. And in fact, the other thing we've got to do, I don't want to forget it again, talking of Warlocks, we've got a roll to see if our Warlock comes back on the board. Can we see that? Yes, we can. Okay, anything but a one or a two. And of course, we roll a two, so he's going to come back. But I've got to find out where he comes back. I was thinking he would automatically go to the witch house, but he doesn't because the endless cycle means what we've got to do is um, we've got to do a roll. So we may end up with two of them at one spot, for example. I'm just going to have to check what they are because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll be back in a moment. OK, I'm back. Right. One to two is the strange high house. 
Three to four goes up to Wizards Hill. And five to six is the Witch House. So let's see where he's going. He's going back to the Witch House, which is a pain. I'd have preferred him to go to one of the other areas, but never mind. So we've got a Warlock here. And it might just be a case of we have Tommy kill him again. So it gets in, comes back and he goes to the Warlock. He goes, right, he'll come out, he'll go, what are you still doing here? I thought I killed you. So how horrific will that be? Like the Warlock sort of rising off the floor. He's like, no, he's got to like kill him with Becky again. So, ugh. so yes, a great story, but a pain in the ass to play. <laughs> So he's come back on the board, and that's three clues now, if we want to avoid taking a dust card. Oh, right, anyway, let's get back to it. And, yeah, so we've done the monster movement. Focus. Oh, it can be annoying. Focus. What's going on? There we go. Apologies for that. Lodge went... Lodge members watch the night headline. All monsters in the French Hill streets or locations are returned to the cup. Yes! <laughs> I'm doing all that complaining. It doesn't matter. This guy goes to the cup. Fantastic. Because he's in the French Hill streets. I've lost count of the times I've had this sort of card and there's been nothing in the streets. But this time we've got lucky. Because we've got rid of, rid of this guy. And it is locations as well. So we get rid of him again. But he just goes off the board as normal. Back into the Immortals Cup. The crawling one goes back into the Monster Cup. And that was very lucky. So I was doing a load of moaning then. <laughs> but there's like some set of like, what is it? The Lodge members have gone on the Rampage. They've got rid of the crawling one. And they've got rid of that Warlock as well. So how fortunate was that? We got really lucky there. That, considering a gate opened, is one of the luckiest cards I've ever had in this game. <laughs> that was brilliant. So occasionally it goes for you. And that has certainly gone for us. Oh dear me. Right, put that over there. That over there. And um, I ran off to check the bloody rules as well. I didn't have to bother. We were getting rid of we were getting rid of it anyway. Okay, how did that turn go? Well, that turn went fabulous, especially the mythos part of it. The only fly in the ointment, from what I can see, is the wizard Waitley moved. So he's just about to go in a vortex, unless he moves on white. If he moves on white, he will go to the village commons. So we've still got a fifty-fifty pet. 50-50 chance if he does move. We just need him to move on white. But yes, I really don't think we can use Law Monster while we're in another world. We might even mention in Arkham. You may cast an exhaust while in Arkham. Yeah. So we can't use it while we're in another world. So we're in a bit of a pickle as regards the Wizard Waitley. We'd be in less of a pickle if we had um, Tommy actually on the board. He is going to come out next turn, but his movement is going to be to return to the witch house. So he can't get up to the Batwoods country and kill Wizard Waitley next turn. We're just going to have to hope we don't get uh, circular monster movement on black. Because if we do trouble if we can hold out we either get tommy up there to kill him or we wait till norman will be out next term because he's got fine gate well so long as he casts fine gate he'll be out next turn and back at independent square and uh, the turn after that he can um, cast law monster because if he's at independent square that means he is in arkham so he would be able to uh, cast it then other than that though would brilliant stuff we've got rid of two monsters one returning warlock went straight back out again because of that mythos card we got rid of the crawling one which isn't a very nice monster so i'm glad to get rid of that 
and uh, oh, we did get a gate open at the unvisited isle but it's a right posse of a gate it's the dreamlands which is a plus one gate the monster that was guarding it was a mygo and they're pretty easy and that's gone up into the sky anyway so we should be able to get agnes in there agnes can get in there nice easy gate for her to, um for her to polish off and we can get uh we can stick with our plan as regards zoe get her into the gate at the graveyard and hopefully we'll get a few seals because we're gonna have to seal these we're definitely gonna have to seal the independence gate next turn because we've got five gates open once seven gates are open it's all over so yeah so in a way we're doing really well and we got really lucky at the end of this turn but in another way we're still under the pump because of the amount of gates that are open and the fact that Wizard Waitley's creeping his way towards a vortex up there in Dunwich. But, yeah, all in all, very pleased with that particular um, turn. Uh, was there anything else I wasn't pleased with particularly? Yeah, Agnes pulling out an Elder Side pendant. Um, not brilliant. Would have preferred a weapon or an Elder Sign, always an Elder Sign over anything else. But uh, I thought we'd have done better than those three things. Two tomes and an Elder Sign pendant, but that's four dollars that that cost us. And we're not even getting, <laughs> we're not even getting monster surges. So uh, we've still got a very high frequency gate that hasn't opened as well, which is the woods. So uh, that, that'd be six gates open and then we're really pushing it. Um, we'll have to hope we do get a monster surge at some point. Anyway, okay, that is the end of the turn. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the help and support. And thank you for all the things like, you know, likes, dislikes, subscriptions. Thank you so much. Anybody who's been to Board Game Links to upvote the videos there, drop Geek Gold. Thank you. Similarly, anybody who's been to Board Game Links and um, upvoted the channel there. Thank you so much. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter and uh, Facebook. Thank you. And if I've made any errors please let me know. I will do my best to fix them before next turn. And, you know, any tactics or strategy tips or ideas that you've got, please let me know in the comments and we will try and fit them in. As mentioned, struggling a bit for time now. I am back in work. So you've got plenty of time to think up, you know, a good strategy for me because <laughs> I'll be busy working. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think that is it. I think that is everything to go over. So all that, that leaves is for me to bid you all adieu. This is Cat Weasel. I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, toodaloo.